Thank you very much for attending this press conference. I shall not take much of your time. What I would like to say, in Tripura, constitution of India does not work. Why I am saying so? During their regime, 41 months they have already completed, they have entered 42nd month, in half of the 42nd month. Before completion of the tenure of local self-government, Elected during left on government times, they broken down. Both urban and rural. They organized elections in 90% constituencies. Opposition political parties did not allow to submit their nomination paper. You can well imagine. Then come to the parliament election 2019. Wholesale rigging. After 1952, such a big number of repolling in a particular parliamentary constituency was not ordered. Election Commission was ultimately forced to give this order. Though we were opposing that, we were demanding to countermand that election. They did not listen to us. This is what is going on. Opposition, according to our constitution, in parliamentary democracy, opposition has a very important role inside the parliament, outside the parliament. But the opposition in Tripura, of course, they have started their attack, focusing CPIM first, ultimately, gradually, gradually, other left parties, and even Congress was also not spared. They are not being allowed to undertake their democratic functioning and activities. I am not going to cite you any figure. Already all these things have been distributed to you. Please kindly see. MLS belonging to opposition political parties. At this moment in Tripura, out of 60 member assembly, we have 16 MLAs, they are all belonging to CPIM. Most of our MLAs have not been allowed to go to their own constituencies and even other parts of the state, including me. I am telling you, during last 41, 42 months, more than 50 times, 15 times, I have been prevented from visiting various parts of the state, including the constituencies where the electorate blessed me to represent them on their behalf to the Tripura Legislative Assembly. That is what is happening. Three of our MLS, including senior one, Badal Chodri, then Ratan Bhumi, then Sudan Das, physically they have been attacked. So what is going on? That's why I am telling all these things. Press, they have been attacked like anything. I am not talking right from the beginning. During last one and a half year, COVID period, more than 35 media person physically attacked. Five electronic media, this or that plea, they have virtually banned. And on that particular eighth at Agartala, the capital town of the state, you have seen, other than our party offices, four media houses have been attacked. Not the media alone, advocates who are courageously trying to stand in favor of the tortured people, their houses are being attacked, ransacked, looted, even in the premise of court, one or two advocates, they have been physically attacked. No protection of human rights. That's why 
I am telling that constitution of India does not work there. And it appears that Tripura is perhaps out of India. Nowhere in other parts of the country, any state, this type of attacks are being meted out against the opposition. So what is going on? I think people of Tripura, as well as the people of our country, they do not believe that all these things which are going on there in Tripura without the knowledge of the government of India and their political party. But no interference. What our General Secretary has emphatically said, this should be stopped. Who will stop it? So this is the situation. Why they are doing all these things? Because their performance is zero. I am not saying zero, minus zero. What they promised before the assembly election, after getting elected, they have taken completely volta face. They have cheated the unemployed youth. They have cheated the teachers and employees. They have cheated rural and urban poor. They have cheated our mothers and sisters. That is what is going on. I don't like to <coughs> detail out all these things. So in this situation, why they are attacking us? Because right from the beginning, despite all these attacks, braving all odds, CPIM, Communist Party of India Marxists, together with left, trying to mobilize people just for their livelihood, nothing else. After the publication of the results, we have publicly accepted the mandate of the people and made this point clear, yes, we would extend our cooperation to the government if they seriously implement their election promises. If we find they are taking anti-people policies, wrong stands, which is detrimental to the interest of the state, we will oppose it. Of course, in a very constructive manner, we will submit our point. If they accept, all right. If they don't accept, it is to the people of Tripura, they should decide what is what. So, in this state, actually, they have converted Tripura as their laboratory, I should say. I am being forced to say so. Laboratory, laboratory of what? One party, dictatorial, fascistic regime. Might be Tripura is a small state of 40 lakhs population at this moment, perhaps. But if they are successful there in Tripura, ultimately that will be replicated in other parts of the country. And ultimately, for the whole country, they are planning to do so. So, this is not the problem of Tripura, alone problem of the Tripura democratic-minded, secular-minded, peace-loving people. This is a problem of the sensitive, sensitive people of our country who are democratic, who are secular, who are peace-loving, love the country. So we would extend our request to all of them. They should protest it, denounce it, and ask the government of India to stop all this fascistic attack. This is what is I would like to tell before you this much.